Hey, Hannah Mouse One here. Welcome back to another episode of my Scratch Farming Game Devlog series. In this episode, I sort out the shop. First, though, I need to make a way of actually getting to the shop. I could just have a button for this, but I want to eventually have several places to go around town, so I opt for a map instead. I'll make a grid of 3x4 tiles that I'll eventually fill out all of them, but for now there's just the farm and the shop. And note that these icons may change, I'm not super happy with them, and I make them pop up when touching the mouse. I then make it so that the farm button takes you back to the farm, and the shop button takes you to a blank screen that will soon become the shop. But first I want to get the money sorted. I create an icon for the coin and a variable that will represent the money. I can reuse a lot of the code from the item numbers um, to display this because um, it's basically the same system, just you have a value and these sprites need to show that and it's really helpful, I'll sped up the process a lot just to copy the code. And then I make a shopkeeper. She isn't going to do much but I think it just adds a little personality to the shop. Um, I was kind of thinking about like, you know, the shopkeepers and like Moshi monsters who like don't do anything other than say like a random quote each time you walk in the door. I'm kind of having it just that, like every so often she just says one of like five random things. It just to make the shop feel a bit more personal, a bit less boring. I create a buy and sell tab and then stock each of them out with what they have. I make it so that when you mouse over something, it displays the item name, how many you already have in your inventory and the price. I make it so that you can increase and decrease the amount of each item depending on the tab um, and have it go to your inventory, stopping it from going below zero and making it so that it changes your money. I also make sure that you can't buy anything if your money is too low. I make it so that you have a hundred coins when you start the game. And that's all I got done this week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. It lets me know that this is something you want to see more of. And apart from that, I will see you next week with another video. Bye.